back to Sunday. So the Warriors don't have to make a decision on Chris Paul till Sunday. Mark Stein is reporting that Paul George is the one and only priority right now for the Golden State Warriors. And that one of the reasons, well, I'm just, I'm inferring this. One of the reasons they're pushing back this deadline on Chris Paul is to give them more time to try to get Paul George in some kind of uh, a trade with the, with the LA Clippers. Okay. Uh, Clay Thompson is said to be garnering interest in Denver and Dallas and Orlando and Philadelphia. So, I think reports of the market drying up for Clay Thompson may not be entirely accurate, but we shall see. And uh, there's one other thing, but I can't remember. What, what, uh, I'll just ask Warrior fans this at 888-957-9570. You like where you're at right now? Do you like where you're at if you're the Warriors right now? Uh, Going yeah. into free agency. 888 uh, I don't, Stani, and the only reason I don't is, is you know, whatever pitch they make to Paul George, the bottom line is if he decides he wants to leave his hometown, and I hate that part of it. I just hate as we get down to it, the nitty-gritty and the buzzer goes off that he stays in L.A., but if somehow they could pull it off, then I'm happy. But, partner, you know, just listen to what Keith said. Out, out When you look past... Paul George, Donnie, there's not much to choose from. No, there's not. There's there's not. Uh, according to Keith Smith, I don't know who the number, you know, DeMar DeRozan is a free agent, um, but he's a free agent. And that They're is They're going to be good. tough to get, yeah. if, if possible at all. Uh, let's go to uh, Jonathan. Uh, Jonathan's in San Leandro. What's up, Jay. Jonathan? How you doing, man? Good afternoon, guys. How you doing? All right. Doing well. Doing well. So I just wanted to compare. It sounds a little bit kind of like when Sharks were in a territory, we picked up a guy called E.K. Carlson, and it was quite a hefty contract. We were kind of in like the Sharks. We were a little bit or like the Warriors contending. And then, you know, we had our run. And then we started to see where it starts to mild out. And we did things like get ridiculous contracts, try to get these star players that didn't even fit the formula. And, but they thought, hey, it'll sell seats. Well, it kind of backfired. The fans got a little upset. And the last couple of seasons after that contract, we just started seeing the team diminish, diminish, diminish. And sadly, I think that the Warriors may be in the same kind of spot. And they could get there a lot faster if they do contract like Paul George, like you guys have been saying all week. Can he fit with the formula? Does it make sense? And I think a lot of fans right now are desperate, and I'm desperate, and I get it. But I think if we could, you know, just calm down and, you know, not make those desperate moves, we might actually have a better future. Maybe Paul George isn't the future. That's all I got to say. I appreciate you guys, and I listen to you every day. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, Jonathan. Appreciate yeah. it. Oh, Jonathan's, he's he's speaking my language. Careful. Well, also, Careful. you got somebody else in that camp yeah. uh, from the YouTube chat, Adrian Gutierrez, Donnie. Going after Paul George would be a disaster, a cap hit, and the future wasted. And all I would respond to that caller and Adrian Steiny is, why do you think they're doing it then? I got my answer. Why? Steph Curry wants the bet, and Draymond Green and Steve Kerr want the best opportunity to try to deal with this lethal West and waiting for guys to grow and change their pampers and all that stuff. Bibs, they're not into that. Well, that, that's fine. That's fine. But don't tell me, and I, this is why I'm with Jonathan, don't tell me this ain't risky. Oh, I would never see. I don't think I've ever said that. Well, and and that's and that's what I think people are maybe not thinking about. If you get Paul George and get him for four years, you know what? Maybe your next year you make the playoffs. You went around. Yeah. What happens after that? What happens after that? I I understand that the league feels year to year more than it ever has right now, but. Yes, there is a scenario in which you go get Paul George, you give up draft picks, and it doesn't work. And now Steph's 38, and you can't use the draft to rebuild. That, like, that is a disaster. Mm. That, to me, is far more of a disaster than even running it back. But I understand. Beggars can't be choosers, and right now, I, I do feel like the Warriors are feeling like they're a little desperate to make a move. And th th when that happens, it, 
Things get dangerous. Mm, I, I think. What a word. And I'll say this, just going back to our visit to uh, Chase yesterday, uh, being able to talk to Kirk Lake of Steine, They also, nobody wants to hear it. It's like the dirty little secret, and we touch on it, we tap on it. I, I've told you, and I really believe it to my core, Steph Curry is a one-jersey guy. But somehow, let's say they strike out on this Paul George trade, they run it back, and they find out, boy, we're still far away. What I think the, 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 the company and the team is doing, the organization, is trying to avoid Steph Curry going to them saying, hey, I'm not mad, but my, my clock's ticking. I need to go somewhere, a better situation to try to win. Where we're at, can, you guys can't, we can't, we're on, we're on different tracks. And nobody wants that. And that's what I want to tell the Warrior fans. Yeah, it's risky, but that's why I think the energy behind trying to get a Paul George is to appease Steph, too, and his chances of thinking that they got a better shot. That's what well, I... What, okay, what if you get Paul George, you're still treading water, and now your cap situation is even worse? That's what Bobby Marks was talking about. Take a listen to this. This is looking down the road a little, but... It's a factor. Steph Curry's eligible to sign an extension this offseason for another year. What happens if he looks at this roster and says, mm -hmm. wait a minute, my, exactly. my window is closing here. How much better are we going to get? I'm just going to play out the next two years. Wow. Like, that, Stine, I got bad goosebumps. Like, hives. Like, that's nightmare on Warrior Street. And that's why I think they think, you know, can anybody pick up the phone and call in and be proactive? Can we hear from any Warrior fan that says, you know what, Stiney, you are right. And I think they know it is risky. It is risky. But Paul George is a damn good ball player. Does he have the perfect age on the birth certificate? No. But damn, I would love to see him in the start lineup with Draymond Green, TJD, and Steph Curry. The 916 says, what could happen to where it wouldn't work out with Paul George? Well, over the last five years, he's missed 36% of his games. Over the last five years. Last year, he played 74 games, and that was the closest he's come to playing a full season in a while. So do you look at it and say, oh, he played 74 last year, he's fine. Or do you look at it, huh, I wonder if he played 74, kind of like Draymond played 73 during a contract wow, year. And... Let me ask you a question. Let me ask it to Evan. Yes. Yeah. Well, he's not listening. You think Paul George is injury prone? I can't say no. That's is he a good ball player, risk. Stiney? When he's healthy, absolutely. Okay. See, and that that that's part of the risk. No doubt. But the to me, and that applies to, to two of your best players. Even if you don't bring Paul George in here, Stiney, and, and Exhibit A is last season when Draymond, for whatever reason, we know the reason, wasn't available, we saw the impact. It cost him the season. So if Dre were to get, like, you still have to deal with that thought process or that fear of your two stu your your top two dudes getting hurt. Like, you can't run. That's going to be around even if you bring Paul George in here or you don't. Is, is the point I'm trying to hammer home. Clay, uh, what do you think of this from Adrian Gutierrez on the uh, YouTube chat? Paul George played on a loaded Clippers team with James Harden and Kawhi Leonard and got bounced in the first round. But he and Curry are going to go to the finals, question mark. Well, it's a fair question. Yeah, but you kind of cooked the books to the, to the texter because Kawhi Leonard went down. And right. when he went down, that's a different Clipper well, team. Why do you think he went down? Well, he this but, was the but, first yeah. time he tried to play oh, no. the yeah. whole oh, yeah. right. season. Yeah, and even when he didn't do that, he still went down at the most inopportune time. So he's the black cat, and maybe Paul George wants to get away from that. But I would say this, Donnie. I, I, this sounds much better Wait a trying to acquire Paul George, even though it was a contract year playing 74 games, as opposed to he played 74 two years ago, and then last year Gooey only played 56. I feel better that he played 74 and he can hold up like he's figured something out, you know? What, why, would, like, why would Paul George like want to get away with, from Kawhi? Because... He may be saying, as much as I love Kawhi and this this basketball, and we had a damn good season, you just 
you get hurt in the playoffs. Paul George is going to leave because a teammate gets hurt. Well, it's almost three times he's got injured and, in the playoffs. Right, and Paul George has missed four out of the last five but, years, yeah. big chunks. But, but what I'm saying is, like, he's available in the off still, Stoney. And how does he play in the playoffs? Kawhi Leonard. Are we going to talk about how he plays in the playoffs? Well, I don't think anybody could pick up the phone and say, oh, the Clippers got bounced because Paul George was no good. Uh, Phil, uh, let's go to uh, Filmo Mike. What's Mike up, Filmo o. Mike? How you doing, man? Yo, it's funny how the dynasty was built on the draft. Now you're trying to trade trade draft picks to continue the legacy and the dynasty, which makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. Why would you get Paul George by the end of his contract He's going to be almost 40 years old, 39 years old. Nobody want to see no old-ass Paul George. We barely want to see old-ass Clay Thompson. So <laughs> that makes no sense. It literally makes no freaking sense. And then Paul George is mid. You feel me? Wow. I'm telling y'all. He's mid. He ain't no – what are you talking – you going to – Paul George? Come on, Guru. Paul George is cool. He but can he bring the ball he up. He can he play make. He up. can play D. He can shoot the he three. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, but when it when it count, he ain't, he ain't been doing nothing since Indiana. Okay, so Mike, what do you I'm want him to you, do? Bro. What does Filmo Mike want the Warriors to do? You're running it. What do you do? I want them to preserve it and just say, you know what? This ain't our year. This ain't our time. Let's do what the, let's do the best we can do. See what happens, and then kick kick the can mm. down the road to put for next year or something, or see what's up. Because I don't like mortgaging the future because you don't never know what the future going to be. We built the dynasty on drafting. So I understand it's not like the NFL, how you can, you know what I'm saying, you can kind of like keep your players. But at this point, we didn't have 12 years of, the, of the, uh, you know, the big three, and it looks like they're breaking up. I, I, as a lifelong Warriors fan, I would never want to see just Paul George good for one or two years. And what is he giving us? What is Paul George really going to do that, that's going to put us over the top? I don't think that he's putting us over the top is all I'm saying. Mm. Good well, stuff, yeah. Mike. I'm, I tend to agree with uh, a lot of what you said. Garbage man tricks on YouTube. And this is wow. where – this yeah. is where uh, – by. Uh, that's a uh, st- that's what I'm saying, Stidey. Ask the listeners if it's more important to have a future after Steph Curry or give it all up for now. Well, I think I think most people are ready to give it all up for now, and the Warriors are p- on that list. If looks if like reports are true, yeah. I, I just don't think you can prepare for the future while you're in the midst or the end of a dynasty. You know, it's like they say. And that's you why I hated Jordan Poole leaving. I thought he was a commodity, Stoney. I thought he was part of that future that we talk about. That when Curry left, he still would be in his prime, and that got tricked off. And we know what happened to that. But if you think Kaminga is the future, uh, you know, for the fans out there, and you don't want to give him up, and hey, but you, you'd also ask the question. You have to think about life after Steph. But well, we just heard Bobby Mark say, "Life after Steph." could be shorter than you think right? if you don't do something now. Right. That's a good point. That's so a good some, point. So something now is hang on to Kaminga and hope he's that guy. Well, no, I'm saying something now could be trading Kaminga for Paul oh, George oh, yeah, right, to right, appease right, Curry. Right, yeah. gotcha. Well, and, and for all we know... <laughs> I got, I'm on that train. Right. And I know it's nobody could imagine this, but I, I, I think Curry is a killer on and off the court. What if the Warriors... Say, hey, let, Steph, let's let's extend you now. And he said, Nah, that's all right. Not right now. I don't need an extension. We're good. Yeah, that would be a message in and of itself. No. Uh, let's go to uh, Maria. Is in Pinole. Hey, hey, Maria, how you doing? Hi, I'm good. Hey, enjoyed the sunshine. Yeah, <laughs> enjoyed all the moves yesterday. That was pretty exciting. For sure, for sure. You yeah, want Paul George? Good. Um, I could see why the, the Warriors would want him. I think pretty much we're damned if we do, damned if we don't. We're not getting to the championship next year unless I, I, I just don't see it. I think Clay's probably on his way out, sadly. Um, but Paul George puts people in the seats. It gives us the attention. It makes people want to watch Warriors game on TV. That'd be exciting to see a player like him playing with Steph and with Draymond. 
unless Kaminga takes some amazing jump and uh, jump and becomes Kawhi Leonard next season, we're pretty much not going to run it all the way back to the to the title. I don't think so. So at least this makes it interesting to watch the Warriors. I don't want to trade too many young guys, though. I like the young guys we got. I want to see them play. But it would be nice to have somebody like Paul George on the team to just make it more interesting and exciting and new. Well, you know what, Maria? Thanks, thanks, for, thanks, for, thanks for the call. I mean, that's that's where I'm always with Maria. Always. Give me the Give me the action. Give me the action. Give but me you're the not the, 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 the you're not the highlight guy. That's what you get. No, you're but not I want, the, the highlights. You're not. No, that ain't you. But that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the buzz. Action. Yeah, buzz. That's why action. you wanted Bronny for the buzz. Yeah, that's mm. why. Uh, uh, that shocked What was me the yesterday. other one that that? Uh, oh, that's why. That's why I was so happy with myself for correctly predicting. Chris Paul coming to the Warriors because I knew yeah. it would get some people feeling it some sort of way. That was pretty good. You got that. We can't take it from you. Never. Yeah. Never. Now here now here's when the people start texting in. Right twice a, a day. In. Dallas in five. Dallas yeah. in five. <laughs> Throwing stones at it you. was six. Uh let's go to James in Palo Alto. Nice. Hey James. Maybe to herself, but she doesn't talk about it. You're on radio. Hey, James. Yeah, don't get in trouble, Jay. Darn. I kind of wanted to eavesdrop more. I did. I was into what was he saying. <laughs> it was wrong. Well, it's the kind of thing that if we let him go, we could get fired. Yeah. Who knows what was going on? Because I've had relationships dissolve because of what somebody heard on the phone when the other person thought it was hung up. Tell me more. A marriage is broken up. Yours? No. Oh, I thought you I'm said. I'm not divorced. I thought you said you were. No, I'm oh. friends. Oh. I, I, you know him, but I can't say it. Wow. Relaford. Rel- nah. Dez. I can't 49er say it. This Frankie. is too personal. I'm just naming everybody. Big <laughs> Dez. Yeah, no, it ain't Was it Big Dex? <laughs> squirt? Oh, that's Dez's <laughs> original squirt. Oh, man. Mike's in Livermore wants to talk about Paul George. Let's go, Mike. <laughs> what's, up, what's afternoon, guys? How are you guys doing? Oh, dynamite. Oh, so... There's no way in the world I would do that. There's, I would not mortgage the team or the franchise just to get Paul George. That's another dirty guy that we're going to need more Jericho for these older guys. And he gets hurt. I, I, to me, I just think we should just let it run, let it take its course, let's develop all the young guys that we have, and in the future we'll be a better team for it. But to mortgage the franchise and to do that, We'd be in a, like you said, Steiny, we'd be in a heck of a lot of trouble in the future. And nobody's going to want to see the team in the future if they don't have a decent team out there. So I say no. No Paul George. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Mike. Appreciate it. Wow, you mentioned that. He's like you, Steiny. You got some stands out there. They just, it's birth certificate or bust. This is not a physical it's not, you know, it's not did a diabetic watch, test. Did you watch it's, last it's year? It's basketball. Did Paul you watch George last is still year? playing at a high level along with Steph right. and along with Draymond Green. Who won the title and how old were their players? Uh, Boston. So, so you really think, like, the Warriors could challenge Boston, a team with four, you know, Drew Holiday's up there. Like, I, it sounds crazy now. It does. So why, why would you do it? I, like, why? Because I'm not all the way to where it's impossible. It's not. First, you got to worry about the West. First, you got to qualify for the playoffs. How do you do that? You try to get better. And that's what Paul George represents to me. The Warriors getting better. I feel like everybody's trying to take the final exam without taking the pop quizzes first. We got it. You got to build towards that. We got to f- form this new identity. You do that in camp. You roll the ball out. You start playing. Then you find out what you got. And then you go for the gusto. What you got is a core of 35-year-old players who you're asking to play nine months of high-level basketball. And I just don't think in this day and age that's realistic. Mm. And here's, here's what I mean. If Paul George and Steph Curry and Draymond Green play all year, play 75 games apiece, God, and even Clay's there too. They play 75 games yeah. apiece. I do not think they will be able to sustain a run for 10 weeks and beat the teams they're going to have to beat 
who are so much younger after they played a full season to get the four seed. Mm. Then I believe they won't play 75 games because they're going to be banged up. They're going to have to load manage. Somebody's going to tweak something. And when that happens, then you're not going to be able to get the four seed. And you're going to go into the playoffs as a seven seed. And I, I don't think it's realistic to get there from the seven seed. But you can't live like that, partner. Assuming what, what, what does that mean? Assume you're you're like I hope you don't think you're being profound when you say an older player might get hurt. A younger player can get hurt. Stani, you Dude. can't control that. Dude, That's all who's I'm saying. Who's more likely to get hurt? Are you okay? okay let me ask I, you. This. I, I, Would you I, bet I right now? That. Bet right now. Yeah. Who's going to play more games? Paul George or Michael Porter Jr. or anybody twenty five years old? I actually old? might take PG there. Well, but <laughs> Evan, I but Stan, I,